All right, on this next one, we got Marab Devalashili fighting Cody Stammen. Uh, Marab, 30 years old, 135 pounds, 5'6", 68 inch reach. Uh, Cody, he's 31 years old, 145, 5'6", with the 64 inch reach. So same height, but Marab's gonna have a four inch difference uh, on the reach there. Uh, Marab's record, 12 and four, come back on Cody, 19 and three. Um, man, what can we say about these gentlemen? Uh, I, I like Marab in this one. It's no secret. Uh, I just think he he's he's definitely the better fighter here. Um, his, his takedowns are you know they're constant. It's Khabib like pressure. It's even probably better man. He has like the record for most takedowns in a fight. I think like thirteen or something insane. His only losses came to really good competition. Um, Cody on the other hand, uh, his last fight with Kelleher was a little close for my comfort. You know Kelleher is a great fighter and all that. I I do like him. But I didn't see him coming out there and, you know, being as physical as he was with Cody. And and he did, and it was kind of worrisome. Um, so when Marab actually gets in there and goes to town, I just think Cody's not going to have anything for him. And it's just going to be rinse and repeat like Marab does. I mean, the reason why Marab had 13 takedowns is because the man got up 12 times. Cody might get up, you know, keep getting up, but he's going to be put back down on his ass every single time. And I just think it's going to be rinse and repeat. I don't think Cody's going to really have anything to do with it. It's not a, you know, a, you know, I'm not going out on a limb here saying that or anything. But, yeah, I, I, I think that uh, uh, Marab just comes in here and, and, and does what he has been doing. I don't think Cody Stamen's a better grappler than Marab in any realm. Um, he can try to hurt him on the hand, uh, on the feet, you know. He does have six not six knockouts, so um, I don't see him catching a fluke sub or anything. His only his only uh, path is going to be, you know, stuff those takedowns and wing wild shots, and that doesn't really fare well for people that have to have that game plan um, when they're cha you know just defending chain wrestling constantly. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, the Marab the Machine, man, he's a, he, he's a tough one. 12 and 4 out of Sierra BJJ. Uh, Cody, 19 and 3 out of Michigan Top Team. Uh, the Machine's coming, he's coming in uh, minus 235 uh, right now. Not bad at all. With Cody Stammen at plus 195. Um, I'm also on, uh, on the Marab on this one. Uh, Marab, is, he's a big time wrestler. Actually, he's an elite wrestler. Uh, he has great pace. Uh, he, he's he's relentless. Um, he's gonna he's gonna continue going for those takedowns. Like even when even when he don't complete it, he's he's chain wrestling. He's steadily going for that. Uh, he's mean. He's improving with the in the striking department. He's just a dog all around. Um, he he's he's fought some some big names as well. Um, I think his last fight was what John Dodson. However, I do want to mention John Dodson did stuff a ton of his takedowns. But yeah, Dodson does that. It wasn't enough still. Yeah. It still wasn't enough. Uh, and Marab came out with the decision. Uh, he got a win against Casey Kenny. Uh, he, he did get he did get choked out by Ricky uh, Ricky Simone. That was his uh, his only you know uh, stoppage that he's got stopped. And then he got a loss way back when against uh, Ricky Bendejas. Um, and as for, as for Cody, um, you know he he's he's had a he's had a line of, of good fights. Uh, Jimmy Rivera, he got a loss to him. He had the win over Brian Kelleher, um, a draw to Wasong Gidong, and then um, the fake champ Aljo uh, knee barred him back in 2018. Um, so it, it's gonna be good. Uh, I'm not a big uh, not a big fan of Cody, you know, at this weight. Um, I like Cody a lot in general, but uh, I, I I don't really like him in this fight. Uh, it's a small cage as well, so Marab's going to be able to, to get him against the cage, uh, get the takedown after takedown. Um, I, I really love the over on this, no matter where it's set at. Um, I, I'm really I'm not seeing a finish in this fight. Um, the only way is if, if what you said, if, if Cody's catching him with something, and uh, I just really don't see that coming, man. I think he's gonna he's gonna have real good defense, um, and and he's never been knocked out, and it's just just gonna be a, a wrestle heavy game. Um, the last fight against Rivera. Uh, for Cody, uh, you know, it was pretty tough, uh, more of a grind them out type of fight. And I expect another one of those grueling battles. And uh, my pick is going to be the machine Marab on this one. And uh, he will be uh, he will be heavy in my parlays. Yeah, the over on that one's two and a half, obviously, two and with a half. the minus 325. So oh, that's, that's huge. Yeah, so that shit's juice, man. Um, if you want to get wild, man, you can probably look at the props. Round three for Cody. I know I'm always saying round three, but man, that's where people mostly fade. Um, what are we looking at? I mean, we've seen Plus Cody 25. get tired a lot lately. It seems like in the later rounds, I've, I've just—it seems like he's been fading a lot. You know, 
Yeah, yeah, you know what? You're right. You're right. You're right. I haven't been thinking about that too much. Um, but yeah, I don't and, know. and Rob does not get tired. No, that, that guy don't stop. keeps stuck. going. So yeah, it would have to be a, a situation where Cody already rocked him early, and he's just you know he's mm-hmm. already gassed. Like but. you mentioned, he hits him with those big ones. Um, you know, stuff a takedown, hit him with the hit him with the big a big shot, um, which is possible. I mean, that, that's not out of the question. Cody round three plus uh, plus two thousand, so that's a, yeah, that's a nice that's a nice something to sprinkle something to sprinkle it yeah. on. So yeah, it's not a bad one, man. But um, I mean, just coming in here, it's gonna be a, a tough fight for Cody. Uh, he he's back is up against the wall in this one. There's not really much he's gonna be able to do. Uh, I mean, if you look at all the guys that Marab's beat, man, they're just they're they're. They're great people, man. I don't see uh, Cody really having anything for him. Yeah, I agree, man. I'm, I'm big on Marab on this one. Uh, even though I've always liked Cody, uh, he, he's a tough dude. Uh, I just don't think he's going to be enough for the machine this weekend, and uh, he's going to get the win. So, I mean, I feel pretty confident in putting him in my parlays at uh, 235.